So I was a makeup artist and a full-time student. And out of necessity, someone recommended I start shooting my own work. It's gone full speed ahead ever since. And it's been a wonderful journey. And it's always growing and changing. So it's, it's really cool how it happens. I never thought I'd be a photographer today. Photography allows me to really kind of tell my own story of how I see the world, especially my forte is beauty. So I can tell the world how I feel about trends and that kind of thing, which is really fun. So my work process is to make a plan, but then also be open to changing that plan last minute because you never know what may happen with your shoot when you arrive on set. So being flexible, I think, is the most important part of planning a shoot. I think this image really demonstrates how you can be really creative with like no possibility of having the most perfect shoot. This shoot was shot in my backyard against a concrete wall. I pick some giant leaves and polish them and put them on the wall, I think with like double-sided tape. And I'm making the model literally look into the sun. I was burning her retina. I was like, you know what? I'm so sorry, you'll be blind the rest of your life, but you look really amazing. So uh, so yeah, I kind of love this photo because everyone goes, oh, were you, in, were you in Brazil? I'm like, I was in my backyard in Los Angeles, which is like five foot by five foot. It's tiny. So, so what can happen when you're storytelling with your images is that we often get placed into a box really quickly. Like, I am this, and this is my style. But sometimes you want to show a different emotion or tell a different story with an image. So this image is one of those images that um, those who like more of a fashion edge love this image. I loved it because it did not feel like me at all. And sometimes I like to rock the boat like this, but we were shooting really pretty and she was just really soft and, and like inviting. And then all of a sudden I said, I want you to really furrow your brow and just make it seem like you're just like, ah, oh, skincare. And we laughed and then she did it. And I love this photo. And this just required an extra, extra click for me to get this, this very different looking image. Um, I knew I wanted to shoot in a pool. And you would think in Los Angeles that everyone would have a pool, but it's really hard to find people with pools who are home, who are you're able to go shoot in their pool. I was at the grocery store. I saw a, a $5 kitty pool, and I threw this gorgeous model in it. Um, it's so shallow that her, her booty was in the pool, but the legs were out, and the water was like pouring everywhere. So yeah, and like I think that's what's great about photography is that I can tell a story that's right within the, the realm of my lens. So if no one sees that on the outskirts of that pool is the horribly cracked driveway and the very arid desert LA style around us, people can believe the story. I keep the pool in my car at all times, by the way. Allow yourself to go through the process of saying like, I don't know what I'm doing. Like, I never know what I'm doing. Like, it's a part of the process and it's okay. Something else will come out of that. It will be really beneficial.